Hey, Castle Law fans, another day, another webinar. Um, you know, today I've got a really good friend of mine, Eric Workman, on with Renovo Financial. He's a vice president over there. And, you know, we see so many times in, in real estate where, you know, we either have insomnia at night or we're watching an infomercial and there is just the radios, the TVs, they're flooded with, you know, get this video. If you buy this video, you're going to wake up the next morning and you're going to be a millionaire. And uh, Eric has been in this space for a long time. He's worked with some of the largest investors in the nation. Um, he's with the largest uh, hard money lender in Chicago. Uh, and Eric has a lot of insight for us today. Uh, Eric, thanks for coming on. Absolutely, man. Appreciate so, it. So, Eric, give, so, so tell me, you know, when I, when I turn on the TV and I see a guy sitting in, in uh, Hawaii um, and he's made $20 million on real estate. Um, why isn't that reality? Maybe it is for him. Um, but more than likely what he's made $20 million on is, uh, selling uneducated people, um, his book or his CDs about real estate, not actually in real estate. At least that's been my experience. Got it. And, um, Tell me a little bit more about um, about these. Uh, what it takes to be a success in real estate. I mean, you know, why is it that you have to work hard as a lawyer and work hard as a, a lender and work hard as a physician and work hard as an entrepreneur? But everyone in the world seems to think that when it comes to real estate, uh, that's kind of the 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 golden goose, and and they can just become a real estate mogul and 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 achieve millions of dollars. Well, I, I think I think you you see that a lot because it is true. Like you you can work really hard at real estate and become a real estate mogul and be worth millions of dollars. Um, it's not been my experience in the last call it decade of being really focused on investment real estate that you're going to make millions of dollars every year, but you can certainly be worth millions of dollars every year. And the the formula for real estate is pretty easy, right? You you buy it, you fix it up. And then it's worth more, right? So A plus B, you know, equals C and C is greater than A plus B. And it's this wonderful little formula. Um, and then once you have it, you either sell it and you take the profit or you refinance it and you let other people pay rent for you. And, you know, you build that equity on your balance sheet. So it's a, it's such an easy formula that it's a very easy then thing to sell that it can be done and that really anybody can do it. And what makes it not easy? Well, what makes it not easy is, and I, I make this analogy a lot. It's like, you know, just because I cook dinner at my home doesn't mean that I'm that I'm qualified to run a restaurant, right? It doesn't mean that I know, uh, you know. Again, even if even if I'm a good cook and I can put nice meals together, it doesn't mean that I know how to hire staff. It doesn't mean that I know how to negotiate a lease for a restaurant. It doesn't mean that I know uh, what type of equipment to buy or how to finance that. It doesn't mean that I know. Uh, where even it, it is that I would buy the best produce or um, where the highest foot traffic is, et cetera. Like when you think about a restaurant in as a comparison, there are there are hundreds of other you know professionals that would go into making that restaurant a success, not just your own ability to make a nice meal. And real estate's no different. Um, you know we would, the way that we track it with Renovo is you know you'll see dozens of different professionals touch every single, you know, real estate transaction. And that's from the agents who list the property at the beginning, all the way through the home inspectors, through the contractors, and then the various subs that go underneath those contractors to attorneys and architects, you know, all the way out to the, the agents who specialize then in listing or in renting that property on the back end. So there's so many different people who touch a real estate transaction that it's a, uh, it's really a team sport, like we like to say. And and with you, I know you've been involved, and I'm gonna I'm gonna back up here for a second because I think I want to dive in deep to the to the meat and potatoes of this. But um, I know Eric, you have been involved with um, residential investments since 2010. Um, you have structured some of the largest transactions in the single family uh, market, um, you know, in the state and the nation. Really, um, your backgrounds in finance. Um, the um, value that you know I hear you talking about is when you have 
a lender, when you have an attorney, when you have an insurance broker, uh, these are all areas where the slightest mistake can cost someone tens of thousands of dollars. And, you know, you've spent the last 10 years building a team. You've gone out and sought out the top people in the industry so that when someone comes to you, they don't have to start from scratch. They don't have to look for uh, the best insurance agent or they don't have to look for the person that knows the most about structuring a wholesale transaction because you've already uh, gone out and, and done that and you can connect those people with the right people to ensure or to at least give them the greatest opportunity of success and to not suffer those failures that most investors commonly uh, come in interaction with. Is, would that be kind of a fair statement? It seems like that's what I see out of the value proposition that Renovo uh, drives. Yeah, that's certainly one of our, I would say, differentiators or kind of one of the pillars of our value proposition. Um, not only individually, like you've said, having a team that I and a bunch of professionals that I know myself, um, but also organizationally, right? And the the professionals that I now associate with and who do, you know, 100% of all the deals that I am involved with personally, you know, that came from that came from experiencing a lot of pain, right? I uh, I had probably been involved with close to 500 flips on behalf of other investors and for a company that I worked for before I did one with my own money and I lost money on my first one, right? So it's a, uh, you know, real estate is one of those things where it takes a tremendous amount of, of trial and error and um, it's, it's so much about who you know and the success of a project is directly correlated to the quality of your team more than anything else. And, you know, as a lender, we're very excited to make a loan, right? We're very excited whenever we, we have either a new or an existing customer and they come to us and they have a neat project that they need financed and we, we give them the money to do so. We partner alongside of them. And it's a very exciting day whenever that loan closes. But then the moment that loan closes, from a lending standpoint, you become very anxious because you just want the money back. And for us, the uh, when we look at the, the circle of success that we put together when we look when we look at our strategic partnerships it's all it's all kind of wrapped together between one making sure that the client is successful and two making sure that from a business standpoint that we're able to get our money back uh, we ensure that our clients have the best available contractors attorneys architects agents etc in the marketplace so that they'll be successful and so that our capital is protected. You know, and it's it's so funny because that's such a basic concept, yet um, I don't hear ever lenders talking about that. If our clients, if, if your client and my client, and we share a lot of them, a mutual clients together, if our clients have the wrong contractor and they spend an extra ten or fifteen thousand dollars on a rehab. If the cost of that capital, because they have it out with you longer, costs them money. If their attorney um, can't save them money on title insurance and screws up liens on titles, that causes the client to not be able to make money, uh, and then they get out of real estate because they get discouraged. And I think Eric, as you and I know. Um, the first two, three, four times that we have a client, that may be a situation where we're not making a tremendous amount of money because we have to do a lot of handholding. So it's a we have a vested interest in ensuring that client has success. They're able to make money. They're able to pay you back. But perhaps most importantly, they're going to take out another loan. Um, so yeah. that's, that is, and I just don't hear that, Eric. That's, that's really, I mean, again, a very basic concept, but just it's, it's, it's the secret, secret, of, secret sauce to success. Well, what you hear a lot from, from lenders is price, right? Price, 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 rate, 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 um, points, points, points. And, you know, so many lenders out there 
um, both ones that are local and others that are, you know, call it have a national platform. Really what they are, they're just online, they're just online brokerages. Um, but they, they focus and they drive so hard on rate um, and that, oh, you know, if you're a percent lower or if you're one or even 2% lower, you know, you need to go with that particular lender because it's going to save you so much money. But what about the rest of your team? I mean, when, when you when you take a look at, at a real estate transaction and you start with your cost of acquisition and then all of your acquisition costs, and then you take a look at all of your construction costs, and then you take a look at all of your selling costs, that the cost of financing is a is a minimal part of all the actual costs of a real estate transaction. And if your lender doesn't have the best relationships in the local market, because look, Renovo has never once, never once won business based on based on price or price matching or even pretending that we're the lowest priced lender out there. But we do have the best connections and we do have the best service. And from a speed and a relationship standpoint, you can't find a better lender. And that's actually where, like you said, that's where you make money. Here's a, here's a for instance. We had a, a deal come to us last week, a nice big Logan Square deal, actually more like North Center. Um, it's a deconversion of a two flat into a single family home. Uh, the, the client's buying it for about 500, putting almost $300,000 into it. It's going to be a $1.2 million home. He, the architect that he came in with is not self-certified in the city. That's going to take him maybe up to two months two months to get the drawings and the permits through with an architect who's not self-certified in the city. The architect that we recommend is a guy who's been doing business in the city for, you know, almost a decade is self-certified, which means he gets to stamp the, the drawings himself on behalf of the city. It's going to take him two weeks to get a project with our architect. That eight week difference there, sorry, I guess it would be six week difference there. Not only costs you time, but it costs you money. It's going to it's going to make you miss the market window for when that project's going to be done. There are there are thousands of dollars of savings there in that one relationship alone that would make the difference in you know any sort of difference in rate be you know comical in comparison. And that's just that's just one professional, right? That's, that, that's one professional. That happened to me. That actually before I met you, that actually happened to me. Um, so let's break this down for people. Um, I bought a property um, near um, Midway. Um, needed, uh, we were going to take the top off and go up high. What do they call that when you rate, add an extra level on the top of the house? Uh, I'm aware. Popping the top on a bungalow. Yeah, exactly. So needed an architect, got an architect. Um, 12 weeks, 12 weeks before I got permits. And here's what it costs you, guys. It costs you interest for 12 weeks. It costs you insurance for 12 weeks. It costs you taxes for 12 weeks. But here's the biggest thing it costs you. It costs you lost opportunity because unless your name is Donald Trump or Warren Buffett, money is finite. So that's one less project because the average project can take 90 days from, from the point that you buy and sell. So that's one less project you're doing. So we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars of lost opportunity that when you're working with someone like Eric, that's a non-issue. I want to bring up an, a, one other example, Eric, um, just because you and I happen to be golfing with him today. So sure. I want to put in a plug for Dan Mosca. So, yeah. so Eric um, calls me a couple, two or three months ago, and he says, hey, I want to take you golfing. This is a really good friend of mine. And, you know, I want, you know, it's, it's Dan Mosca with State Farm. And so I think to myself, oh, man, you know, State Farm agent, I, I don't want to go golfing with a State Farm agent. I need another State Farm agent like I need a hole in my head. Now, Eric's always right. I've found this to be true, and so I have to listen to him, but yet I'm sitting here saying, why is Eric taking me golfing with the State Farm agent? Well, Dan has been the best connection for me in the last 12 months. Here's why. I introduced Dan to a client of mine. I don't even know if you know this, uh, Eric. I introduced him to a client. He reviews. This client has 
12 or 15 properties. Same type of product, same insurance, but because this is the space he works in and he knows how to tweak things, $7,500 a year savings. $7,500 in savings because yeah. I introduced that client to Dan. Now, yeah. guess what? Number one, that client um, is saving a lot of money. That could be half a flip these days. Um, but more importantly, this guy thinks I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread. I probably should tell him that you introduced me and introduced you to this client. Um, but that's this is the kind of value that, that Eric provides um, and the kind of cost savings where – this is big picture, ten thousand foot stuff. Um, so, so that is that's that's really that is yeah, really 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 cool. And let's talk about Dan for a second because so Dan, I think, is maybe the number seven agent. Like, and he's in the top ten of all State Farm agents in the United States. And his office is in Moni, Illinois. Right, his little office in Moni, Illinois. I think he has a team of like seven or eight. Um, but Part of what makes him, you know, such a successful agent, like when you look at his book, is he's he insures thousands of rental properties, and you know that's how he and I got to know each other. Uh, I guess it would have been maybe seven or eight years ago, and you know we have he and I have just a, a ton of mutual clients and mutual friends, and he's he's probably done uh, maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand uh, policies based off of you know connections that we've made together. And that's the level of expertise that you want from your insurance agent. And, you know, people think, oh, it's insurance. Like I can call, I can just, you know, pick up the phone and call the guy who has my homeowner's insurance on my, you know, house in Homer Glen or house in Naperville or wherever it is that I live. And you could, but you're going to lose money and you're not going to have the proper level of coverage shouldn't say you're not. It's highly unlikely that you will, one, spend what, you're, what you could spend, and two, have the right kind of coverage for that type of asset. When you go to an expert who is a true expert in the field, you, you end up saving so much money, and you end up being so much better suited for your, for your actual business. Like why wouldn't you call Dan Mosca? Because there's not a guy in the country who understands your business as a real estate investor from an insurance standpoint better. And as a lender, that's who I want my clients working with. Not only because, one, they're going to save money, and two, they're going to be properly covered, but like you said, three, like I want them knowing that as a lender, I'm looking out for their business in multiple facets, not just in my, not just for my own interests. And, and Renovo, I know, Renovo, you're, it's the, it is the number one um, – rehabilitation lender in the Chicagoland area. And I think also, I think I saw uh, something about it's one of the fastest growing companies in Chicago. You recently got named as one of the fastest growing companies too. i not sure where I saw that, but is, is, am I, is my memory correct? Yeah. So in 2017 uh, with, so Cranes puts out something every year called the Fast 50 and they measure, they measure all businesses across Chicagoland based on growth. And for 2017, we were number two in all of Chicagoland across all business types. And in 2018, we were number six. So it's 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 highly unlikely that a company s- stays in the top ten, right, for year over year growth. But um, you know, so our growth has been like a hockey stick, right? Since 2011 to now, we've just been on this explosive exponential growth curve. And again, I've said it before, like we're we're not the cheapest lender in town. Like you can find money cheaper. Money is money is a commodity just like anything else. Just like you can buy a cheaper pair of shoes or a cheaper cheeseburger. Like you can find cheaper money than than Renovo. Um, but our our growth can be tied directly to the service that we provide and the value that we bring along with the money. You're when you go out for a nice steak, you're you know, you you expect a higher quality, and you're willing to pay a little bit more at Ruth's Chris than you are at Outback, and it's no different that from 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 a lending standpoint, your lender has the ability to add a significant amount of value to your business and a lot of money to your bottom line if they understand the local market and have the right 
other professionals for you to use. Or they can charge you a little bit less and not care at all about your project until the day that you're supposed to pay them back and add no other value. And investors all around Chicagoland have said, I'm going to choose A, I'm going to choose Renovo, and I'm going to choose a bigger bottom line and building a better team than choosing a little bit less, less price from a financing standpoint and having somebody who doesn't care about me at all. And those results are shown with our growth. Again, you know, number two in 2017, number six in 2018. And when you break that down, like our growth, a big component of our growth is based on our repeat customers. So about 60% of the growth component that you look at is based on clients repeating with us over and over again. And guys, real estate, people who get into real estate, it's like people who get into restaurants. Almost 90% of people who do a real estate deal don't do another one because it either takes too long, it goes poorly, they lose money, it's so much harder than they think it is. But again, you look at our growth, and it's it's based off of people consistently doing deal over deal over deal over deal. Guys who are doing two a year now doing six, six to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 20. They're able to do that because they're making money and they have a great team, and they have a financing partner who cares about their entire business and their bottom line as much as we care about our own. That's that's awesome. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for sharing that stuff. Um, best way for our clients to get in contact with Renovo Financial, I can tell you guys, um, Eric has been a tremendous value to myself to Castle Law. Um, he is a giver. Um, you know, give him a call. Don't take advantage of him. Um, he's still in business and he's trying to do loans. He's going to help you. Um, but I'm telling you, in this business, we need to be big picture. And um, when we start getting down in the weeds and we start saying, well, this attorney's $25 less for a closing, those folks that do that, the overall bottom line, they're losing thousands and thousands of dollars. So take advantage of all the resources Renovo has. Take advantage of basically the 20 years of mistakes uh, and failures that Eric and I have made because we've weeded out those problems and we've created the best network to ensure our client success. They can email you, right, Eric? And is that your cell? Uh, they can email me, Eric, at RenovoFinancial.com. And then that's the that's the office line. Okay. Um, my cell is uh, 630-408-5582. See how I got him to give the cell phone number, guys? Uh, RenovoFinancial.com. There's a lot of videos. There's a lot of good resources on there. I use that website a lot. I direct people to it. Um, check them out. Um, Eric and I are going to be golfing with Dan Mosca today. I'm going to show Eric how I've improved uh, my golf skills this year. Um, make it a great weekend, everybody. Feel free to call me if I can connect you with Eric. Uh, but if you call Eric at uh, the number on the screen or at the email, Eric does a really good job of getting back to people. I know he'll be glad to help you. Eric, thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks for having me on, buddy. Anytime. Yep. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.